My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb, our first on location episode. It's beach week for John Boy Media, so we're at the beach. Jake, how you doing? We are at the beach. We are live from Punta Vallarta, uh, a.k.a. Jersey. Jersey Shore. You love the Jersey Shore and the depiction that it actually brings to the good people of New Jersey, right? I love the Jersey Shore. I, the TV show sh- shouldn't have been allowed to be named that because people think of that. And not, Makes Jimmy not mad. This Don't do it. beautiful, beautiful family town of nice beaches and wholesome people. But there is an eastbound wind right now. That means bugs are coming from the mainland. <laughs> which sucks. Okay, let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the sports. Jake, what happened? It says here something about MJ's underwear? Jem, it's a lit, Jem. Jem. (laughs) Jem. Jem. Sorry, I've been in Jersey for a while. Jem, it's been a legendary weekend uh, here at the Jersey Shore, and Michael Jordan, he's selling his underoos. Well, he's not selling them. Someone's selling his underoos? Yes. What? Yeah, it's the story actually just changed for me. Yeah, it's being sold by a family member of a personal sec- security guard. Security. Security guard, <laughs> and uh, they say that the underwear is bearing signs of definite use. What so do you think that means? You think skid mark first? Yeah. Or maybe tiny little pee drizzle stain? But they said that the seams are just a little teared up. You can't say the phrase, it appears that the underwear were used, because that has one implication. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. What's up with skid marks? We've got everyone here. Someone in my family growing up, Yeah. I seen skid marks and I didn't get it. Like, how does that happen? You didn't get it. I don't get how you get skid marks. You've never had skid marks. You've lived a skid markless life. Of like shit, no like brown skid marks on white underwear. I don't get it. I think that's just you shitting yourself. Well, wearing like, white underwear. I think my shit himself sometimes is my main question. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? How do you get, with, how do you get brown skid marks? I mean, you shit himself, <laughs> but I think I think skid marks are unrelated to that. Well, anyway, the uh, the opening bid was $500. Oh, this, not this is sad. This is a sad I story. I thought we were going to be... No. Oh, I thought we were going to be in like the high thousands. No, it's a really sad story. Oh, like, no. Just pay your security guard I mean, more. if I'm buying those underwear, I think I'm wearing them. What? I thought this was like trophy case stuff. Someone's going to buy them that for $500 and just say I'm good, though. That's just in my rotation. So yeah. that's the, the first sports story of wow. the show. And we'll jump to... Almost a breakdown, and Jim, this is baseball. We love baseball. We've got baseball people here. There's a baseball in your hand. There's a baseball in my hand. Uh, and Jim, there was a special play the other day that went down. Errol Robinson. Errol Robinson. One I'm of my that correct, one of my Sam? friends knows him. Yep. She knows him. She's not on camera though. She said she's very close friends. No, it's a really cool play. He's run. He's in shortstop. The ball is flared down the left field line, and he's running. He's running. And uh, the, he doesn't even, sometimes they reach up with the glove and then snag it with the bare hand. He never even reached up. So he just ran and the wind blew it from here to yeah. here. Pff, bare hand snag, comes up with it so smooth and yeah. shows it right away. Like he came up with Do it and Do you think he thought he up. was going to catch it? No, I think right? that's very much just like. Because that's a very classic, I'm not going to catch it move. <laughs> Case in point. $3,000 fine to get that ball. Glittering and... We're going to go on the beach and we're going to try and recreate the catch. (laughs) There it is. Do you think we did it? Uh, good job by Errol Robinson. Good job, Errol Robinson. Good friend of Sam. It was a shortstop makes that catch or that ball drops and it's no one else's fault. And if it drops, we wouldn't even be here. You want to move on to not sports? I do want to move on to not sports, but speaking of not sports, Jim, you ever have something not drop for you? Yeah. Get Roman. Because me and Jim, we actually had the same camera set up for something totally personal that we were doing. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen because yep. we didn't have our Roman with us on the Jer- Jersey Shore. GetRoman.com slash dumb. $15 off. $15 off. Get Roman your ready. First month. Roman ready. So when you set up your cameras and you... Not sports? Not sports. Oh, I've got more sports. More sports first. Let's go to more sports. Zach, we're gonna go to more sports first. More sports. College football's underway. Let's clap at least. 
Unless you're a college football, oh, it's football season, baseball is all over. Eat a bug. Enjoy all the sports. Youeatbugs.com. That's my most re recent purchase. We'll put in a link. $2 a month. I own that now, guys. We'll put in a link. We, it's a company. Well, I paid for my personal card. Well, that's fucked Chism up because we said we were getting it together. College football is back. I ate a bunch of mayonnaise. Dude, he ate so much mayonnaise because it was the yeah. Duke Mayo Bowl. My biggest gripe with this video, Jake, is that his friend next to him yeah. is eating something else, but it's food, and his friend is stuffing his face. Like, look at both of us. Aren't we oh, crazy? No. And it's like, you can't think that you're part of what he's doing because he was scooping mayo in his mouth like this. You just need to clap for your friend. Yes. Jake has a question. Do you think he's a mayo eater? Do you think he's just an eater? How do you think this manifested? And I know that's your favorite word. It was the South, right? Mm-hmm. Do they like mayo in the South? Let's take a vote. Do they like mayo in the South? Because Midwest got to be- Hand up for yes. Midwest has to be the premier mayo- Our crew region. is currently, we were four out of five thumbs up. They definitely like mayo, yeah. but I don't know if, if this was like, you know, Indiana, I think that's more Mayo City. Maybe Nebraska. Well, Big hug over here. And they just go. She doesn't want to hug them? No, they're not hugging. They're not hugging. They're never hugging. That they, was so sad. She ran out like big They're hugs. not hugging. They're excited to see them. They're not hugging. Wow. Jim, they so went crazy. up to the front row where they knew the biggest college idiots were that want to get on TV and just said, here's a jar of Mayo. Do something with it. I like that. He didn't bring it in. Because I have a question. Yeah. I don't know Duke's Mayo. I only know the H one. <laughs> I know the H one too. <laughs> what, is it, what is it? Hellman's. Hellman's. It's the only mayo I know. I don't know Duke's mayo. Not sports. Oh, dude, my favorite story of the whole thing. Let me put my phone down. Not sports is the best story of, it's the best story of. It's your favorite story you've been talking about. <laughs> the Randolph County Jail. They released the wrong inmate. We've seen these stories before on our radio show. We talk about these stories a lot. John Boy and Jake Radio. It's Let's arguably it the thing you and I are most aligned on. That these are stories are good? That they're good, and if society makes the mistake, like, that's not on the bad guy anymore. Dude, check out this story. They released the wrong inmate because this inmate and the one that was supposed to get released switched cells. They asked like a guard's permission to do so, but it never got reported. Obviously. They share the same identification, height, hair color, eyes. This yeah. is a Sneaky Pete situation yeah. or these two teamed up. There's a sec, this is step one of the movie. This is act one, there's an act two, and then eventually they'll get caught, but there's a heist or a plan or something in the works. Do you have them as a team or do you have that one yet. just outsmarting I don't other? know that I have yet. an outsmarting situation. Yeah, maybe. You're getting released from jail. You don't risk moving anything. Yeah. I think I'd remind everybody around me who I am for the like upcoming month. But yeah, so, so the wrong woman's out. And then the story gets even better because the head of security for the jail's first name is Sheriff. So that's his actual first name. You didn't just read the article and it said Sheriff Wilson. Uh, sheriffs aren't heads of security at jail. They're sheriffs. Are people so, so being now, named Sheriff? If your nickname is Sheriff and you're a head of security at a jail, you have to kind of drop that. Right. Because you're not the sheriff. You like basically report to the sheriff. It'd be like if your nickname was President and then you took an internship at the White House. No, that'd be cool. Everyone would like that kid. No, they wouldn't. Your name's President, you work at the White House? Shit bag. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean? Doesn't Jake look like he uh, wrestled an alligator once? It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee, not a sheep. Well, one of them is kind of a sheepish option. I don't know where you're going. I was going to give you the nod this week. Me? No. No, not you. The oh. nod to like pick. I was going to give it to our dogs. Right, that's where the sheep thing kind of ties in. Cause they've, mine, been, they've been decently they've behaved. They've been pretty good, and yeah. there's a lot of people, like and there's people. a lot of dogs. Noodle Mac and Maisel. All right, we'll be at a beach uh, near you later. It's spring week. We're, We're doing our beach tour. Beach every day. Give us your beach house for a week, and we'll use it. It's got to be worth a lot. Yeah. That was a weekly dumb. Support for this program was brought to you by Roman. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. The whole process is straightforward and discreet. And getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com dumb and complete an online visit. Take care of your ED without leaving home. Complete an online visit today to connect with the doctor and just take care of it. 
Go to GetRoman.com slash dumb now to get $15 off your first month. There's a straightforward way to take care of your ED, and Roman is it. GetRoman.com slash dumb. I look... There are people that try to get laid in this outfit. Dude, you yeah. look like a guy at Hedonism, no, too. I caught myself in the mirror, and I was like, man. I told the you. wrong kind of woman wants this. I literally just look like my grandma. <laughs> this is... Uh, it's a female hat. It's a shirt that's three times too Your big. Your flips have been good with Well, it. the flip up is nice, but now I'm a blind person. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. The lights here with this green screen are crazy. <laughs> 